that weigh-in and that physique update is post cheat meal. So I had a cheat meal late last night. So, uh, you know, I'm not feeling too great about how I look. Um, I'm up like half a pound, a little more than a half a pound. I did keep my cheat meal in check pretty well. I only had two and a half cupcakes, but a lot of people kind of freak out after a cheat meal and they go up like even two, three pounds. Don't freak out. It's just like your body's retaining a lot of water. You know, after a day or two, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna go back down. You know, you have to took in a lot of sodium. Your body's just holding that water. So after a little bit, it's gonna even out. It's gonna go back to normal. in the mail today. I'm pretty interested in this one. It's from the guy, I, I recognize this name, and I'm pretty sure it was the guy who created that badger strap video I did a while ago, like the tactical quick release belt. And I didn't give it a great review, so I'm interested to see what he sent me. He didn't send me an email or anything. Uh-huh. Some more badger straps. Is it a different system now? No instructions, no note. These are the badger straps that I did. In fact, I have one right here. I use it as a tool belt, uh, like for my film gear. So you can see that's all it was. It was a quick snap together. Looks like some different buckles. I don't really know. Ah, this one is from a company. Reached out to me, said so they're doing a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo or something. Monstrum Tactical, Monstrum EDC Light. Apparently it's a flashlight with a hex shank, waterproof, magnetic mount, a couple other things. So I'll be doing a review on this coming up next couple, next week or two probably. Am I doing this right? Can't be doing this right. Got it. give a little insight into how I make my main review videos. So behind me you can kind of see my studio set up here. I've shown this place a couple different times on some videos, uh, editing, storage, all that stuff, but this is what I've got set up for actually filming. So let me take you around here and kind of show you what's going on. Okay, so this is the main camera I'm filming with, uh, Ursa Mini 4.6K. We've got a Sigma 18 to 35, 1.8 lens on there. Um, we've got a receiver for a mic, and then I'm taking an out here to a monitor so I can watch myself. B camera is a Sony FS100 with a Canon 24 to 105 and uh, an adapter on it. And then I'm taking an HDMI out to that to this monitor as well so I can see everything I'm doing. Um, lighting wise, I've got a big Kino up here for my key light. I've got a smaller kind of fill on the key side. I've got an LED backlight here. This is my gun cabinet that I uh, sort of installed recently. So this just keeps, you know, a bunch of guns and like all the stuff I still need to review. Um, I've got this hanging just kind of for decoration with an orange pendant light. And then I've got an orange light down here. I've been getting an awful lot of comments on this bad boy. So uh, let me give you a better, a closer look at that. You guys, you guys have been asking to see this thing in videos for as long as I've had it up. So, here it is. The, uh, the Thorn handgun from Destiny. So I had a good buddy, he was a neighbor, he had a, a, a couple 3D printers. He made this and he saw me eyeing it one day and eventually he moved out of the neighborhood and he gave me this as sort of his going away present, which was really, really cool of him. So big shout out to you, dude. If you're watching this, you know who you are. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at the detail on this. Can you see, let's see if I can get you a little more detail. So you can see that handle. Um, and then, so there's, 
different portions here. Like these would actually slide in and out. It had to be made in smaller portions, obviously, because this thing's huge. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, of cool stuff like this trigger. If I pull that, can you see that? If I pull the trigger, the hammer will actually go back. The cylinder spins. Um, yeah, man, like he said, if I wanted to go real hardcore, I can get an LED and, you know, actually make it glow like in the games, but. So that's it, that's Thorn. You guys have been asking to see close-ups of it like literally every video I post in here, so boom. I've also got the man, Nathan Drake here, uh, Spartan Beast Metal, my SHOT Show Pass from last year, Black Arch, vault -Tec, Tough Mudder. So that's the setup. Today I'm doing a video comparing knives. So I've got my Benchmade Griptilian, I've got a Kershaw, the new Link knife, and then I've got a Tack Force. So we've got a $10 knife, a $50 knife, and a $100 knife. We're gonna see how they stack up. Um, freaking hot in here. It's like 100 degrees out. No air conditioning in the studio, so I'm feeling it. I need to get in and out of here pretty quick. All right, so if you've ever been curious what it's like to review products in the GLS studio, this is it. So we've got lights, like I mentioned, main cameras up there, side cameras there. There's that thing so I can see what I'm doing. So I usually know what I look like from that camera, but this camera, I need to know what my hands are doing. So if I record right there, you can see, I can see exactly what my hands are doing and when I'm in focus. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I make my videos. Mm -hmm. 